This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, for those who don't know, on 22nd of um, July this year, a couple days ago, somebody about 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., a group of four or five individuals went up on Brookham Ridge, put covers over the lights uh, covering the flags, the American flags, to put lights out. And what they hoisted up were American flags that had been bleached white. Now, the um, media is saying, well, either they're bleached white or they're worn white. That's pretty lame because uh, you can't a flag doesn't wear white like that. That's absurd. But it can be bleached. It had to have taken a tremendous amount of effort. Now, we're being told it's probably not terrorism, probably just prank, right? Well, let's look at this. I'm going to look at this from the perspective of who would do this and why. And I think we're going to find something interesting here. It, would this be the work of right-wing protesters? Well, the answer to that one is simple. Right-wing flag-waving protesters will never do this type of thing. Why? Well, we wouldn't desecrate the flag, and whoever did this desecrated the flag by bleaching it white. You go into uh, a bar, biker barn and try to desecrate the flag, you'll see real fast that you don't do that. So, how about left-wingers? Well, it doesn't look like their MO either. Left-wing radical types. See, the left-wing loves attention. They love to be on camera when they're doing their nefarious things. And generally what they'll do is they'll stomp on the flag and then burn it. That's left-wingers that uh, hate the country. Not all left-wingers hate the country. I'm talking about the more radical elements. There's a possibility there, I suppose. But I doubt it. It really does not look like left-wing radicals type of thing that they would do. I don't think so. They don't mind us creating the flag, but they're more likely to burn it in front of the cameras because they go call up their uh, little buddies at the TV station, hey, come photograph me, I'm going to burn the flag. And of course, the little leftist pinko commie at the station says, oh, gee, that sounds like fun. So they come and put them on TV. That's the type of thing they do. Probably not left-wingers. So who else will be sending message, America, surrender? That one's easy. It's American flag has been bleached white. White is the uh, universal, white flag is the universal thing that says surrender. So the message is simple. America, surrender. Could this be a college prank? Well, it's the middle of summer. Probably not. Once again, most colleges aren't doing anything right now. Not that frat rats don't do bizarre things. They do, obviously. Probably not a college prank, though. It doesn't strike me as one. Somebody's making a statement. Somebody's sending a coded message. By coded, I mean somebody else knows what they're saying. See, I believe somebody knows something specific about it. 
So if it's not left wing, and it's not right wing, and assuming it's not a college stunt of some kind, I've heard all those suggestions. Artists. Artists? Really? Well, I don't know. There are some kooky artists out there. Whoever did this went to a great deal of trouble. I suppose it's possible, however unlikely. Another person suggested anarchists. Anarchists? Why would an anarchist put, be putting up a message, America, surrender? Anarchists, by their very nature, don't believe in laws. Probably not, again. Going through this, in my opinion, most likely scenario is that it wasn't anarchists, it wasn't college prank, right wing, left wing. I think that just leaves foreigners. More likely this was done by foreigners. America, surrender. That's what they're saying. White flag, but it's an American flag that's bleached white. America, surrender. It may well be if somebody claim is telling government they have a nuclear bomb and they don't know, they're not going to say which city it is in unless you do this, this, and this. We're going to detonate it. Now, look at what's happening over in Israel and the Middle East, uh, Gaza fighting. Duh. Did anybody see a connection here? And then we went and closed off their uh, all flights to Israel, which we've since resumed. Duh. So, let's kind of put this together. Hamas and their uh, buddies in Hezbollah say, you know, blackmail the FBI or somebody saying, we have a nuke in the city and we're not going to tell you which one unless you get tough on Israel. We're going to set it off. And the government is probably being contacted with these reparate scumbags. That would be my guess. And then, you know, they raise a flag up on top of Brooklyn Bridge as a coded single saying, hmm, do what you're told or else. More than likely, that's what we're looking at. Of course, they're not going to admit it. They're not going to panic civilians. They say, well, scumbag group has claims that they have a bomb in one of our cities and they're not going to tell us which one, they're going to cause panic. However, I have no such compunctions. I'm just saying that more, more than likely we've been told that either somebody's going to nuke a city or they're going to do something else very dastardly unless we get tough on Israel to stop fighting. That would be my guess. It just makes sense because we're considered to be an ally of Israel. And Israel is engaged in some of the most vicious fighting we've seen in a long time against uh, Hamas, that scumbag terrorist group. So I'm thinking somebody is sending us a message. Get on Israel's case or face consequences. More than likely, that's what it is. And they're not going to admit to it. They're not going to, like I said, they're not going to say, well, terrorists have a bomb in one of our cities and they're going to set it off. So, the thing to do is to watch for unusual police activity, authorities, like they're looking for something.
You know, with all due respect to NYPD, they're wrong. Well, they're either lying or they're wrong, I don't know which. But more than likely, that's what it is. I would say probably Iran is blackmailing us. Who knows? They'd be the mo most likely ones to say, you know, we're going to set off a bomb if you don't get tough on Israel on this one. That's my guess. Well, artifacts of Mars reminding you that you was, we have slipped into a soft tyranny and we have to do something about it. Well, artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.